Welcome back, everyone. President Obama named a new acting IRS commissioner this afternoon and is promising to work with Congress to make sure the IRS does not abuse its power. During a press conference at the White House, the president spoke about the agency's targeting of conservative political groups, vowing to make sure the IRS is doing its job without a hint of bias. Simply unacceptable for there to even be a hint of partisanship or uh, ideology when it comes to the application of our tax laws. The president named White House budget officer Daniel Werfel as acting commissioner of the IRS. The 42-year-old Werfel was originally appointed to his job in the White House by George W. Bush. Baldwin County's Common Sense campaign says it experienced intense scrutiny from the IRS. We told you about that earlier this week on News 5. And now the Washington Post is profiling the Common Sense campaign. The Tea Party group experienced trouble with the IRS while trying to get tax-exempt status. News 5 political analyst Quinn Hillier joins us now in our newsroom. Quinn, a big question that a lot of people have, how are groups like Common Sense Campaign and other political groups eligible for tax-exempt status? We usually think of that designation for, for churches and charities and the like. Well, Peter, it's actually sort of complicated, and a lot of taxpayers might not like that so many different groups do get tax exempt status, but uh, there are several different ways to do it. And basically, what these are 501c4 organizations, and the language isn't absolutely specific, but the rough rule of thumb is if more than or if less than 50% of your activity is overtly political, then you're perfectly okay as long as you're not taking direct stands in political races uh, more than 50% of the time. And a lot of groups fall under that umbrella, and it's perfectly legal to do so, and that's why these groups are tax-free. Quinn, what's the likelihood that any IRS employees will be charged with a crime, and, and do you think any laws were broken here? It, almost certainly some laws were broken. Uh, the question is what the punishment will be. A lot of times what happens in these cases is people lose their jobs. There might even be civil penalties. Uh, it, it takes a lot to actually inflict a criminal penalty on, uh, on members of the bureaucracy, and so that's not clear yet. Okay, we had a, a similar IRS-related scandal during the Watergate time with President Nixon, but other administrations have also had their problems with IRS scandals. Franklin Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, and Nixon all were documented to have used the IRS in this same kind of way for political purposes. It stopped mostly after Nixon because it was such a big scandal during Watergate. All right, very interesting. Thanks so much for your comments. Quinn, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much.